What's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another Warzone tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a secret setting which a lot of players, including myself, have overlooked ever since the beginning of Warzone. So let's get into it. So in our last video, we've talked about how to improve your aim in Warzone. One of those tips there was to lower your sensitivity if you have a hard time tracking your opponents. Now last week, I've been messing around with my sensitivity settings just to experiment and see if I could get even better aim and improve my Warzone gameplay. So I was wondering, what sensitivity do the pros use? So I went to Google and found this website called setup.gg where they have a lot of the known streamers like Z Laner, Symphony, Huskers listed with all their settings including their keybinds and the equipment they use. So I went to check Huskers and tried his sensitivity settings. Huskers plays with a DPI of 400 and an in-game sensitivity of 5. And right away, I found that my accuracy was way better than with my previous settings. But the drawback of this was, I had to make huge mouse movements even just doing a simple 180 or trying to go peek around the corner. At times, my mouse would even hit my keyboard because of the long distance my mouse had to travel just to make myself face the way where I want to. So I had to make a choice of either sacrificing my movement or my accuracy, which neither was really an option. So I went back and tried to look up another streamer which I look up to, Symphony. When I first saw Sim's settings, I was like, what? Sim plays with a DPI of 400 and sense of 7.73. This was even higher than my previous sensitivity settings. But then, I found about this particular setting which he was using, which I have never paid attention to in the last 9 months I've been playing Warzone. And I was blown away. The ADS Sensitivity Multiplier. So basically what the ADS Sensitivity Multiplier does is, it multiplies your sensitivity with the ADS Sense Multiplier which you've set. Which means, you can have a different sensitivity for when you are just aiming and for when you are moving around. So what Sim did is although he had a high base sensitivity, whenever he uses his ADS, it lowers his sensitivity. Which exactly solved my problem when I've tried using Husker's settings. It's the perfect combination of being able to make a quick 180 and look around your surrounding and still have spot on aim. Also, he uses ADS Sense transition timing instant, which means the change to your sensitivity will be instant when you ADS, rather when you've set it to gradual and it's gradually changing your sense as you ADS, or when you use after zoom, which changes your sense after you've completely zoomed in. So currently I'm using a sensitivity of 8.89 where I can do a quick 180 and easily look around my surrounding without losing too much time making huge mouse movements. And I use an ADS sense multiplier of 0.75 for both high and low zoom and the ADS sense transition timing instant. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If it did improve your aim, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see more quick tips like this in the future, please show some love and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and as always, peace.